there's a possibility that people have the impression that I might be a better comic book artist than my father was or is, which is all opinion. But my father's an artist that I will never ever approach talent-wise. I, I saw him do stuff, I, I've seen the stuff that he did when he was 19 that I can't do now. I tell you, uh, my son and I have come from a, a type of artist that isn't satisfied with their own work. It's an inside joke with us. If he thinks he can't live up to my stuff, he should know how far f short I fall of my own impressions of what I should be doing. John Romita Sr. is, he's the Gene Kelly of the comics industry. I don't know, if, if you get a chance to meet him, he's the most charming, self-deferential man you'll ever meet in your life. He is a brilliant artist and he will never, never, you wouldn't know it to talk to him. John brought a style into Marvel. I mean, at the time, Marvel's style was, the house style was Kirby. And John came in and he had this sort of romance kind of style, a much softer style than Jack, but it was perfect for Spider-Man because Spider-Man was about Peter and about, you know, Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane and, and, and that sort of soap opera kind of thing. He's not an overpowering artist, but he repairs. He's such a great artist that when we worked together, I saw the differences in the pencils. He said he just traced over my stuff. He's full of it. He fixed it. It's, it's his beautiful work over mine makes me look great. And how do you argue with that? It's a lot of work for him. And he worked hard on everything he did with me. And uh, I didn't take that as, I didn't take offense to that because you bow to his experience. But uh, working with him is, you know, it's in the heart more than it's just on the, on the paycheck. Uh, he's my hero and he's my teacher. And he, you know, he's the, he's the greatest guy I ever met. Why not work with him? And it, it turns out that way on the paper. John has a very different a visual approach, much more cinematic than mine. Mine is more like uh, you're in the living room with the characters and talking to them. His is cinematic. He has a, a cinematic design sense that he brings to the to the book that uh, I never I never was able to do. A lot of people say they can see the similarities, but I don't think there's ever been a time when we sat down and and uh, tried to make it that way. He was always on his own. He always had a distinctive style. The major part of comics, especially now, is storytelling. So that's the only similarity with my father is the approach to storytelling. He taught me through uh, example. I think of it in black and white without the benefit of color or dialogue. How do you tell a story without those? And uh, uh, you know, you kind of rise to the occasion. And I would rather tell a story than draw the story. And naturally, I've got to draw, but uh, storytelling is just so much fun. John Romita Jr. is the world's greatest comic artist. Jack Kirby was the king. Johnny is the world's greatest comic artist because no one can do what he can do with the amount of versatility that he has. He can draw superheroes fighting better than anybody. He can draw two people talking at a bar better than anybody. He can draw a romantic scene better than anyone. He can tell a story better than anyone. He is just an all-around absolute best guy there is.